Okay, guys, so now that we've learned about the EM spectrum, we're going to go a little bit further into spectral shift. And what we're going to talk about today is redshift, blue sh shift, the Doppler effect with light. So if you're big fans of the Big Bang Theory, you've probably heard Sheldon mention the Doppler effect. So we're going to talk about what that exactly is today. So notice right here we are showing the visible light of the EM spectrum. And we're going to be talking about how color comes into that. And we know that color is in the visible light because we see in color. Now as you look, notice that it goes from red to orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So you should be able to tell which color has the longest wavelength. Because remember, in the EM spectrum, as you move from the left to the right, the wavelength gets smaller, meaning the energy gets greater. So what does color tell us? Ultimately, we are able to use color and wavelength of objects to tell us how far or how close they are in relation to us in space. So you've probably heard the acronym Rory G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, I mean blue, violet, blue, indigo, and violet. There we go. Ooh. So notice red has the longest wavelength. So because red has the longest wavelength, it's going to have the least amount of energy. Violet has the shortest wavelength, so therefore it has the most amount of energy. So the answer to how color can help us is spectral shift. All stars in the universe give off electromagnetic waves in all directions at the speed of light. Because remember, the EM spectrum and every wave that we had talked about from radio to gamma is all in a light wave. So what color is associated with each type of wavelength? Like I said, long wavelengths are red and the shortest wavelengths are violet. So make sure you write that in your notes. What area of the EM spectrum can we see with our eyes? Again, that's the visible light. So let's talk about when scientists say redshift. Well, a redshift occurs when light that is seen coming from an object is moving away and it is increasing in wavelength. It is then shifted to the red side of the visible light spectrum, meaning because the universe is always expanding, and this is one of the evidences that backs up the theory that the universe is expanding, is that when we look in space and an object is moving away from us, the wavelengths actually start to get longer, causing the color to shift to red. So when scientists are looking in space and they're looking at very distant galaxies, a lot of them are giving off a red light, which scientists believe means they are moving farther away from us. A blue shift is the exact opposite. A blue shift is any decrease in wavelength. It is on the opposite side of the red shift. That means it looks like an object's light is getting closer to us. So when uh, scientists are looking out in space and they might see an object and it is uh, shifting to blue, that object is moving towards us, meaning the wavelengths are getting shorter and it causes it to shift blue. So this is the evidence that really helps support the fact that the universe is expanding, that redshift, blue shift. Because if we were to look in space, what do you think 90% of the time scientists see? Things giving off red light or things giving off blue? Well, the answer is red. Most things in the universe have a red glow to them because they are moving away from us. So make sure in your notes, if you need to pause it, that you definitely write the definition of a blue shift and the definition of a red, red shift. We can estimate changes and general information about distances in our universe based on spectral data. When you look at a nearby galaxy, it tends to be its regular color because the line is right on in the spectrum. As we move out and look at a distant galaxy, the spectral starts to shift towards the red direction. And even the very most distant galaxies that we can uh, see shift even farther, going even closer to the red. So here are some spectral bars. The Everything 
that is a star and galaxies are just many, many, many stars give off light. So they give off an, um, the electromagnetic wave. In the visible light, we can detect these spectral bars. And these bars are like the void of color in the spectral line, meaning if it has a bar there, it is giving off that amount of energy and everything that you can see is lacking. So go ahead and pause the video and draw and label this design. There's you and your view of stationary waves. When you have an object moving towards you, the wavelength is getting shorter, so it is blue. Now notice, what I want you to notice is when an object is moving towards us, the waves in front of them compress, and that's what makes the wavelength shorter, causing it to look blue. When an object is moving, again, every wave in front of it compresses, but the waves behind it stretch out, which makes the wavelength get longer, causing it to be red. So blue, shorter, approaching, red, longer, receding. So let's watch this video on Redshift. a redshift. Astronomers often use the term redshift to describe how far away a distant object is. To understand what a cosmic redshift is, think about sound. Sound travels in a wave. You hear the engine of an airplane because the waves travel through the air to your ear. If the airplane is moving, the sound waves in front of it are compressed, creating a higher frequency sound. The sound waves behind it stretch out, creating a lower frequency sound. As the airplane passes you, you will hear the familiar Doppler shift. Light also travels in waves, and a similar thing happens to these waves. Light waves are able to compress and stretch, thereby changing their frequency or color. Blue light has shorter wavelengths than red light. When an object in space moves towards us, its light waves are compressed into higher frequencies or shorter wavelengths, and hence we say that the light is blue shifted. When an object moves away from us, its light waves are stretched into lower frequencies or longer wavelengths, and we say that the light is red shifted. So how does redshift define distance? Well, the light from most galaxies in the universe is redshifted, as seen from the Earth, because the universe is expanding. It turns out that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving, and the faster a galaxy moves, the more its light is redshifted. So measuring the amount of redshift is a good measure of the distance of the galaxy. Using this cosmic redshift, astronomers have measured the distance of galaxies as far away as 12 billion light years, and we're always pushing that cosmic limit farther back. For Ask an Astronomer, I'm Dr. Tom Jarrett at NASA's Infrared Processing and Analysis Center. All right. So that's where we're going to end today. Tomorrow when you come into class, uh, we will uh, continue to talk about the Doppler effect and the red shift, blue shift, and then we'll go any fur even further into our spectral lines. So see you tomorrow.